Hello, Christian friends. Welcome again to another week of study in our adult Bible study guide. Uh, we have been looking at the great controversy theme all this quarter. Last week, we looked at the two witnesses, the Old and New Testament, witnessing through great persecution, through centuries of oppression, to the truth of prophecy and the truth of God's word. Those two witnesses are alive and they are well. Well, this week, we're going to look at the theme motivated by hope, motivated by hope. Our uh, a memory text this week comes to us from Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 9. A beautiful scripture. It says, and it will be said in that day, behold, this is our God. Can you imagine that? Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. This scripture looks forward to a time when Jesus will come, when we will look and say, that's the one I've been looking at, looking for. That's the person who has walked with me. That's the being who has kept me. He is the one I know intimately, even though I have not seen him. We will recognize Jesus because we will have lived so close to Jesus as we approach his second coming. When he does come, we will know him. Sunday's lesson, our lesson for today is a beautiful lesson. It talks about the promise of his return. Now, we're going to look at text in this scripture, in this in this day's study that we know very well. John 14, 1 through 3, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 13 to 18 says that the angel of God, that God will descend with the voice of the archangel, with a shout and the dead in Christ will rise first. We who are alive and remain will be caught up to meet them in the air. And we shall ever be with the Lord. And we are to encourage each other with these words. Encouragement is in the scripture. And probably the most encouraging thing about the Bible is the fact that Jesus is coming. We learned in Sabbath's uh, uh, study that there are 1,845 references to the second coming of Jesus. That in the New Testament, 260 chapters, there are over 300 references to the second coming of, of Christ. That one in every 25 verses references the second coming of Jesus. This second coming was a source of hope and great encouragement to the reformers, but it's also a hope and a great encouragement to us today. It motivated people to change, to live soberly, as Titus tells us, to live soberly and to live godly and to put away things from our lives because we're readying ourselves for the coming of Jesus. If you're not ready yet, uh, today's study is one step that you can take to help you to be ready to anticipate the coming of Jesus and to remain hopeful even in this moment. <music> 